Hi everyone, Goldthony Gray Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Baroness record, Golden Gray. The sludge and progressive metal outfit Baroness, they are back with a brand new album. Over the past decade or so, the Savannah, Georgia band has built up a pretty impressive discography. And for whatever reason, I feel like it was just a year ago that the band was dropping their record Purple, one of the band's catchiest and most triumphant albums yet. So because of how good and admirable everything Baroness has done up until this point is, anytime John Baisley and company announce a new record, it's cause for celebration. But I can't say I was really all in with this new one from the jump. I thought some of the teaser tracks for this album were some of the weakest Baroness had released in years, and it looked like this album was shaping up to be yet another double project from Baroness, which the last time they did that was in 2012 with Yellow and Green, and that's arguably the weakest project they've put out so far. In some ways, I do see Yellow and Green as a respectable transition point for Baroness, as a lot of the more accessible elements and characteristics to their sound on Purple were more or less road-tested on Yellow and Green. But those were not the only flaws on the record. Certainly, there were others that could be boiled down to Baroness overextending themselves over the period of, of a very long project. For as progressive as some elements of Baroness's music are, they haven't exactly mastered the art of writing the lengthy, overblown rock album. And they seem even further away from that prospect, with a lot of songs on this thing just being pretty direct, pretty straightforward, more tuneful, even some angstier vocals and lyrics. I would do anything to feel like I'm alive again. It's almost like the band at some points on this project are becoming the metal equivalent of uh, the Foo Fighters. Even the song Broken Halo sounds like what you would get if you took Baroness's sludgy, powerful, heavy sound and tried to pen some anthemic, super melodic power pop with it, a la Weezer. I'm not saying the result is good, I'm just saying that's kind of what it sounds like a combination of. But for the most part on Golden Grey, Baroness aren't taking too many risks. Sure, there are a few weird time-wasting interludes that reinforce literally nothing else on the album, a couple more mild ballads than expected, a heavy psych rock closer, but many of the best tunes on this album could actually slip pretty seamlessly into the purple track list, frankly. I'm Already Gone, Tourniquet, Throw Me an Anchor, the beautiful cold-blooded angels. So there are definitely some quality highlights in terms of songwriting on Golden Grey, no question, but most of this album's full potential is not lost in the lackluster pacing of the track list or some of the more mediocre songwriting on this thing. No, it's in how god-awful the production is. It, it truly is. And when I say the production, the mixing on this thing is bad, I mean it is bad. The only tolerable listens I had to this album were on just very small headphones or on laptop speakers. Because on everything else, on a stereo, in the car, it, it sounded like a total mess. And that's because it just sounds bricked the hell out. The vocals get buried in the bass. The guitars barely have any presence. You can only make out like half the drum set a good portion of the time. The mixes on the first two songs of this album made for some of the worst rock production I've heard all year. It's like the drums, the bass, the guitar, they're not organized or focused in a way where they're all reinforcing each other and empowering each other to unite and combine into this powerful and massive sound. No, it's it's kind of like everything is just canceling each other out and it's really blurry and lacking in definition. When the band tries to add extra little bits of sound and instrumentation, they just get totally lost in the haze and lost in the noise. It's like they, they might as well have just not even added it or recorded it. And even though listening to this thing on smaller, cheaper speakers did make for a slightly better experience, making out the finer details was still really difficult. I expected this to be a slight problem because it also was when Dave Can't Stop Compressing Fridman also produced Baroness's last album, Purple. In a way, it did complement how heavy and massive and thick and powerful Baroness's sound typically is, but with Gold and Grey, it's, it's way worse. The roaring guitar chords toward the end of the song Borderline just sound like white noise. They're clipping or just overblown. Meanwhile, the wall of sound on the last track of the record sounds like Friedman was just like, F this mix, F it. And this problem is so egregious, it makes enjoying the finer writing and performances on here really difficult. Like, why should I only be able to enjoy this album on my MacBook speakers? It makes no sense. Meanwhile, on everything else, it sounds blown out and indiscernible. I'm just confused as to how this album was released with such major technical flaws 
laced into its sound, laced into the balance of instrumentation. I mean, I guess it's not Baroness's best crop of songs anyway, so maybe it's a wash. But still, I think mixing and compressing this album properly without ruining how it sounds would have made a world of difference in terms of being able to enjoy it. As Baroness on this album has gone from being this heavy, visceral juggernaut of a band to just sounding artificially loud and muddy. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this one. Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Baroness, Golden Grey, uh, forever. <laughs>